Hi students, this is Ramalakshmi Physics Faculty. Today our topic is electric field strength due to a uniformly charged disc. Consider a disc of radius R. Q amount of charge is distributed on over the surface of this disc. Here, this charge is distributed uniformly on over the surface of the disc. Sigma is the surface charge density. But here the charge distribution is continuous charge distribution. So let us find out the electric field strength at the point P on the axis of the charged disc. So to find out the electric field strength at the point P, let us consider an elemental ring on the surface of the charged disc. Y is the radius of the elemental ring and dy is the thickness of the elemental ring. Let x is the distance from center of the disc to the point P. In last video, I had discussed electric field strength due to a uniformly charged ring. So, once recall that formula, electric field strength due to a uniformly charged ring. E is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Qx by r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2. Where Q is the charge R is the radius of the ring and X is the distance from center to the point P. Now, this elemental ring here also X distance from the center to point P and Y is the radius of the ring and DY is the thickness of the ring. So, now the charge on the elemental ring, let it be DQ. So, dq is equals to surface charge density sigma into 2 pi y into dy. This is the area of the elemental ring. So, now electric field strength at the point P due to this elemental ring. De is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught dq by x square plus y square whole power 3 by 2 into x. Because here radius of the elemental ring is y. And now substitute dq also that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught in place of dq. Sigma into 2 pi y dy into x by x square plus y square whole power 3 by 2. To find out the total intensity at the point P due to this charged disc, take integration from 0 to R. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught sigma into 2 pi y dy into x by x square plus y square whole power 3 by 2. So from this diagram here angle is theta. So this is look like right angle triangle. So from the diagram tan theta is equals to Opposite side by adjacent side y by x. And from this y is equals to x tan theta. Differentiate on both sides with respect to theta. dy by d theta is equals to here x is constant. Differentiation of tan theta is equals to secant square theta. Now dy is equals to x secant square theta into d 
theta. Y is equals to x tan theta. Dy is equals to x secant square theta d theta. Cos theta is equals to adjacent side by hypotenuse. So this adjacent is x, opposite is y. So now the distance, this distance becomes to square root of x square plus y square. So cos theta is equals to x by square root of x square plus y square. Okay, now e is equals to here 2 pi 1s, 2 pi 2s. Sigma x by 2 epsilon naught integral 0 to r in place of y substitute x tan theta and in place of dy x secant square theta d theta. So x tan theta into x secant square theta d theta then it becomes x square secant square theta d theta by x square plus again here y square is there in this place x square tan square theta whole power 3 by 2 ok now sigma x into x square it becomes x power 3 by 2 epsilon naught integral 0 to r tan theta into secant square theta d theta by here x square is common so x square whole power 3 by 2 then it becomes x power 3 and the remaining part is 1 plus tan square theta 1 plus tan square theta is equals to secant square theta and again whole power 3 by 2 is there then it becomes uh, secant power 3 theta. So can okay, now x power 3, x power 3 get cancelled and c square theta also get cancelled. Sigma by 2 epsilon naught integral 0 to r in place of tan theta sin theta by cos theta and 1 by secant theta becomes to cos theta into d theta. Cos theta, cos theta get cancelled. Integral sin theta is equals to minus cos theta. So sigma by 2 epsilon naught minus cos theta and limits from 0 to r. Now minus sigma by 2 epsilon naught in place of cos theta substitute x by square root of x square plus y square. Okay, now x by square root of x square plus y square and from 0 to r. So that is equals to minus sigma by 2 epsilon naught upper limit x by square root of x square plus r square minus lower limit minus x by square root of x square plus plus this part 0. So root of x square is equals to x, x by x cancelled then this term is 1. So now multiply with minus sigma by 2 epsilon naught into so minus 1 becomes to plus 1 and this term is minus minus x by square root of x square plus y square. Then E is equals to sigma by 2 epsilon naught into 1 minus x by x square plus r square. Where r is the radius of the disc and x is the distance from center of the disc to the point P. So this is the formula for the total intensity of electric field at the point P due to uniformly charged disc. Maybe the point P is located at the center. Then X is equals to 0. Then intensity of electric field E is equals to sigma by 
2 epsilon naught because this second term becomes to 0. So, when the point P is located at the center, then intensity of electric field becomes to sigma by 2 epsilon naught. 